From grandchildren and grandparents keeping their distance from each other to medical guidelines that seem to constantly change. We know you have questions about the COVID-19 vaccine and how to resume normal pre-pandemic activities. News 4 Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno got answers to some of the most commonly asked COVID questions. This pandemic has been nothing short of isolating, especially for those most at risk. But with more people 65 and up getting vaccinated every day, we know many of you want to know. If I got the full vaccine series, when can I go and see my grandchildren and hug and hang out with my grandchildren? We turn to Duval County Medical Society Foundation, Dr. Sunil Joshi. So that's a good question. You know, so right now getting the vaccine series, doesn't change anything in terms of the typical guidelines. So, you know, we're still supposed to wear our masks. We're still supposed to be socially distancing and staying six feet away from people that you aren't typically exposed to. Why? Because though we feel like the vaccine is protecting us, we don't know for sure how well it's, it's protecting us in terms of the duration of protection, how it's working on this new variant, all the different variants that are coming through. And so though you are in a much better spot because you have the vaccine, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can be hugging and touching other people who may be at risk. Which leads us to my next question. How long will my COVID protections last? So that's at least for 90 days. So, you know, we're assuming it might be out to five months, but much like the flu shot protects you for about five to six months, um, this vaccine is probably protecting us for about that same time period. Um, and so then again, in the fall, things may have to be reassessed. With the CDC reporting three variants of the virus, a booster shot could be needed, but there are still millions waiting for their first shot. A big question we get is, why is there such a shortage of these, of the vaccine? Yeah, the vaccines do take time to make. You know, they're not, it's not like a pill that, uh, you know, that a manufacturing plant can just produce, produce, produce. Um, these mRNA vaccines are highly technical and do take time to make. The good news on that front, the FDA is scheduled to vote on an emergency use authorization on Johnson & Johnson's single dose vaccine at the end of the month. So right now on newsforjax.com, we have all of Dr. Joshi's answers to those most commonly asked questions, including whether you should get a vaccine if you've already had the virus. I'm consumer investigator Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.